Hello guys, my name is Satendra. I am a mechanical designer and today we are gonna create a spring in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. Let us create a new part and to create a spring we need to create a circle that will define the diameter of the spring. So let's go to sketch, select a plane, select a circle and define the diameter. I want it to be about 25 mm. Now go to features, curves, helix and spiral. And you get three different options to create the helix. You can define it by pitch and revolution, height and revolution, and height and pitch. Spiral is a different shape, it is not a helix. So we will stick with height and pitch option. I want the height to be about 100 mm. And let's create the pitch of about 7 mm or 6 mm. Select the start angle to be 0 and you can choose the helix to be clockwise or counterclockwise. Exit. You have the curve for the spring now and now we'll define the wire diameter of the spring. So let us create another sketch in the right plane. Go to circle. Define the diameter for the wire dial. I want it to be about 2 mm. And I will pierce the center point of the circle with the curve. Now it is fully defined. Now go to features, swept boss, select the profile and select the curve as, as the path and this is our spring now this spring is a kind of uh, ideal spring this is not a real world spring because it has the same pitch throughout its length and in real world the springs are not made this way because we need more contact area at the ends of the spring so we need less pitch at the ends and more pitch in the middle of the spring. So we are going to edit it, go to helix, edit feature and we, are cre we will create the variable pitch option. Let me expand it and here you can see the different options that we can change the height the pitch, the revolution that is derived by the height and pitch and the diameter. So I want my pitch initially to be about 2.01 as my wire dia is 2 so up to height of about 3 mm then up to height of about 5 mm I want the pitch to be increased to 6 mm again then I want the same pitch to the end of the spring so let us create it up to 95 mm give the pitch to 6 mm then again up to 97 reduce the pitch to 2.01 and at last 100 mm and the pitch will be reduced again to 0 0.01 so now as you can see the spring has less pitch at both the ends and more pitch in the middle now we can also create a cut just to make it more physical spring 
will cut the ends of the string go to cut extrude through all both I'm not fully defining it because I just want to show you the surface contact area this is the contact area that you get at both ends of the spring so this is our final spring you can go to the photo view 360 now and you can add the material for the spring So this comes out pretty good and this is the end of the video. I hope you like this video and you got something new from this video. If you do, please share it with your colleagues and if you have any query regarding any feature of the SOLIDWORKS, you can comment it in the comment section or you can post your query to my Facebook page All The Works. Thank you very much. Bye bye.